Namaskar, welcome back to your channel Simplify Your Space. In today's video, we shall see an unorganized and cluttered day in my life. As you are aware, I have moved into a rented accommodation for a short while. My home is undergoing some renovation to fix the leakages and tiles that had started to express their age. Video will also have some life updates towards the end. Let's get started. While we have jump started our routines from this new nest, there are tons to set up and organize. Everything is everywhere and not much to my liking. So after sending my son to school and husband to work, I have decided to clean up the mess. This video will also give you a mini home tour of this house when I will move from one room to another for cleaning. As soon as I shifted into this house, the first thing to set up was kitchen. In cities, one can exercise the privilege of ordering food online, but tab tak. Though it is a great help for instantaneous needs, I am sure you would agree it is not very healthy for sustained periods. Setting up a kitchen with enough functionality to ensure basic and healthy meals are available for my family was my number one priority. Installing a water purifier and my old cooktop was simple. Though for this house we have a brand new fridge, due to paucity of time, I have not been able to unbox it yet, but plan to do so soon. Without a fridge, I cook only in limited and consumable quantities, and rely on amazing Bangalore weather for food preservation. I was clear to set up a comfortable sitting area on priority. In a new home, it can take days before everything falls into order, and one must ensure a clear area to rest and recharge one's batteries. We moved our existing sofas here, and with some planters in the balcony, they present the same soothing looks. Only these two areas I could set up initially, and the rest of the house is still in messy condition, which I need to arrange today. The next task was to clean up the bedrooms and you can see they are so messy. First I removed all the folded clothes from the bed and put them in the closets. It was important to have sufficient clothes to run through a few months. Luckily this apartment had cupboards. I just needed to relocate the needed ones here. For this short stay, we decided to use mattresses on the floor and frankly, I am loving to go back to the memory lane when as young in new jobs, we use similar techniques. And as the mattress is placed in the corner, I spread only fitted sheets for smooth and neat fits. Most of you already know about my love towards fitted sheets. As this is an elastic bed sheet, it does not move from its place and stays intact for days. And yes. Here I want to reiterate that if you plan not to use beds, one must ensure that cleanliness is thorough on the floors to avoid any pests. The need to maintain continuity in work could not be overlooked. I have set up a small working desk in my bedroom for that. I have taken out the unnecessary items and cleaned it well. The clean and clutter-free desk is what I surely need to kickstart my work from this house. We have a few traveling bags kept here and they are not filled with clothes but with old documents. We need to segregate important documents and purge irrelevant papers. I recently watched my old video on document organization to replan the documentation system. As I have been saying, a topic on this video will come soon. The other bedroom is my son's bedroom and there also we have placed the mattress on the floor. This is not very messy as compared to the master bedroom. Here also I have used fitted sheets and believe me my son jumps around the whole day but sheet always stays intact. Making a bed in the morning is the smoothest task ever. If you have been following me from the start, you must have seen this wooden cubicle unit in my very first videos. It was still there with us. 
I have utilized this to store Atha's books and a few toys. We didn't bring much of his toys here. This drawer system is also very old. This is utilized to keep his stationery and few other items. I did not have any spare window curtains, so hung these door curtains only. We have attached bathrooms and they are in raw state. There are lot of lime scale deposits on the floor and seeing these every day annoys me to some level. I will need some time to get this bathroom to okay levels. The wash basin area is used to store all the hygiene essentials. Let me know in the comment section if you would like to see a makeover of this type of unfurnished bathroom. With this cleaning of bedrooms is over. Now I will take all the soil beddings to the utility area for washing. Utility area is also in raw state and will test my skills during its organization. This is used mostly for washing dishes, storing random cleaning supplies and a washing machine to wash clothes. This area definitely needs some organization but it's not on priority right now. Now let's come to the messiest area of this house. The dining area is full of stuff all around. It is filled with courier boxes, a dishwasher, a ladder and a lot of random stuff. We brought this dining table from our house and so far it is helping me as a holding arm for dumping miscellaneous items. Hopefully we should be able to make use of its real purpose soon. So today I decided to clean up all the mess from it. I think the dining table is the most common place in all the households which is used as dump yard. I am so guilty about it. Wow, now it looks like a dining table. Appliances like dishwasher, fridge etc are still to be installed. Right now the dishwasher is also helping me to dump all the courier boxes and stuff needed for future shoots till I finalize where and how it needs to be fixed. This is the hand wash area which needed some cleaning and now it is good to go. And this is how the dining area looks now after cleaning. It is not fully organized but it is clean and functional to some extent which was the priority right now. At this stage I am definitely not looking for perfection. Now let's move to the home entrance which is again used as dump yard to store courier boxes and random going out essentials. Home entrance has a basic setup with a very small shoe rack to store a few pairs of shoes. The top is utilized to store Atha's school bags and my husband's badminton kit. It just needed a quick cleaning. I'm planning to decorate it in some time for better welcoming looks. Now let's go to the last room of this house. The room which is as of now designated as office for editing related work and to store shooting equipment. This room is in a proper mess with plenty of miscellaneous items and big cartons. We have brought our existing office table from our house to keep the computers. Installed a new internet connection and then realized the old router UPS 2 amp rating is incompatible in the new one which is rated at 2.5 amp. So I quickly ordered a new one from Amazon. Usually they can supply up to 4 hours of backup. They are so useful during momentary power cuts before generator sets take over. Cleaning the mess and organizing this room should take up a few hours and I've planned it for next week. And with this, we are done for the day. Now let me give you some updates. I am sure you would remember I had planned to shoot a renter friendly series from one of my old flats. We had to terminate that series due to long and punishing travel time. We were getting exhausted to the core, leaving little time for creativity and presentation. 
However, I plan to complete that series from this home. Hope you will enjoy it. Some of you have expressed your concern about fatigue and exertion in the last kitchen deep cleaning video. And rightly so, moving and setting up a new home can be tiring. But what has to be done has to be done. I guess you would have known me by now. Staying in an untidy place gives me more stress than the fatigue of tidying it up. To ease my work, I have a house help who assists me in cleaning up and cook who helps me prepare dinner. In fact, for moving in, we did deploy additional manpower. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you all next week.